Hey friends, welcome to Mr. Mark's Classroom. My name is Mark Jones, and I have a great idea that I think you're gonna like. It's kind of seasonal as well as a Bible skill game. And so I have taken the verse that we're working on and we're gonna make a spider web. I know, it's that fall time of year where you see those spiders and stuff. And so this is pretty easy to do and we're gonna work on one of our verses. So the verse is, and if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer, Matthew 5, 44. So basically, this is what I started with and it didn't go so well. First of all, you need a white paper plate and the little cheap ones are the better ones, they're easier. And I cut out the center using some scissors, so that was pretty easy, although it wasn't quite as clean as I would have liked for it to have been. Then I started writing. And if you believe, <laughs> you know what? That didn't work so good because your spider web needs to go across, not in a row. So the words have to go across, which really helps because you're gonna try to keep them always across from each other. That way you fill up the space pretty evenly with really no effort. So I went back and I started writing it out. So I wrote, one word at a time, and if you believe back and forth, back and forth, just like that, until I had filled up the whole thing. And then I came back and reached inside and just hole punched each one of these. And by the way, instead of the scissors, I went back with a blade and was able to just cut the center of that out so much easier. So maybe this would be a teacher prep thing before the kids get there. And if you have younger children, you may want to write all of these things and let them punch the holes so they, they can do the actual threading. So a couple of different threads. I thought we had a, I opened this huge tub in our resource room of thread and yarn. And I thought this thread was a pretty good thread, almost spider webish, but it could be a, um, a choice that you put out there for the boys and girls. There's this, I even had this white from TGNY. Can you believe that? That only means it's uh, 200 years old and uh, in our resource room still. <laughs> I know, it's just like yours. And uh, But we used a little bit of a tan thread on this or yarn and this is pretty easy what it looked like. And I thought it was really a fun activity. Instead of lining up the words and playing and practicing your verses that way, this way, we were almost doing a dot to dot. And kids like that kind of thing, so maybe you'll consider that. If you don't have any plastic spiders that they can, they can attach on there, you can always make your own spider. I mean, it's probably not as scary if you're the one making it. So you would pull together, let me move this out of the way so you can see easily. But you fold over two chenille stems like this. And then I took the scissors and simply cut. So now there are four because spiders have eight legs. That's right. So we twist those so that that would be the legs. And then take an, one more black one. You might want to do brown. You might want to do red or blue. I don't care. These spiders aren't to be scary. And I went ahead and folded it around twice and then twisted it in the middle. So it'd be kind of like the number eight if you were to open it up a little bit. I think that probably helps a little. And I'm gonna tuck these in here. I'm gonna attach it to the body simply by twisting it around. And now I can open up the legs and bend them down so they'll stand up on their own. So that's pretty easy and, and maybe not quite as scary whenever you're working with uh, littler kids. I know, you'll have some of those fifth grade boys that'll go, mm-hmm, mine's, mine's bad. And they'll do whatever, because that's what they do. But anyway, that could be a makeshift spider that you could add to your web as well. That gives you a little bit of an idea. So you give it a try in your room, 
And I think the kids are gonna have fun making this Bible skill activity and learning the verse as well as making this web. Hey, we've got lots of other great ideas right here in our Bible Skill Booster book. I want you to check it out. And while you're looking at our store, you'll see that it's a downloadable resource as well as you can have it mailed to you in a hard copy, but tons of Bible skill games. Check out my new book, 31 Days to Finding Your Kids Ministry Mojo, and I think you're gonna really take your game up a notch. Hey friends, just a reminder that my new book, 31 Days to Finding Your Kids Ministry Mojo is available. It's just a little bit of reading each day, answer a few questions, and find out some things that I reveal about myself, of good and bad, and how you measure up, and you can get stronger in kids ministry. Take the challenge today.